Hey everybody, Marco, KC2ZMA. So here we got Logic Probe, LP560. These things are about probably $20 off for Amazon. That's why I got mine. And these things are pretty cool, very useful electronic test devices. Let me show you something pretty cool that I just experimented with. So what this is right here is a, a fox hunting device. Um, this particular model that I bought a while back, or Micro Fox, and what it does, it's on two meters. Night here's a good one, nine volt battery. I built a little switch there, and it's in a little case. And I'm operating on 146 560, 565. Uh, so what Request it does, what it does is just um. It makes a noise, and then I have my Morse code. I put my call sign as the ID. So uh, let's turn this on. So you hear that. And then it just continues that. But let's just say, which is, uh, I just uh, figured out here, let's just say, and plus when the LED light's on, then you know it's transmitting. But what about if this doesn't, something doesn't transmit to the antenna, or something is wrong? So I have, so I have a, a positive, negative, and you just have the probe in the front here. The um, Logic Probe itself has pulse, Memory. Memory means if, so there's three lights on this thing. So you have high and low. Let's check it out. Green for low. We're on the negative side. And you have um, high. And plus it beeps too, so you have different tone beeps as well. And um, right now I put on memory, which if you put on memory, this is the, the other light that actually pulses. So, thing is still running here. And I'm on the negative here. Positive. This leg right here You'll hear, see I have the radio off right now actually, and I have no radios on. So, you kind of hear, kind of hear the modulation right through the speaker, what we heard in the radio, with this first leg right here. <laughs> so that's pretty cool stuff. Um, you can actually hear the modulation. Obviously the other pins, some of them are high, some of them are low. Right now it's actually low if it's not transmitting anything. See it's a low. And then obviously you hear that tone. They're all low. Different chips. I wanted to show you that, which is actually pretty neat. So 
So it's a useful, logic probes are actually useful for circuit boards. So you, so you actually see what's going on, if there's activity on the leg of the chip or not. Um, these things are pretty neat. So I've been experimenting with here. Another device I have actually, I did the same thing on. Um, this is a ham shield board made from a startup company. I don't know if they're around anymore. I haven't checked uh, for a while, but I bought this board when it first came out. This is an Arduino Uno R3. The antenna goes over here. And I did the same thing. I actually put power, well, you could put AC power in here, you could power it through USB. But I actually put the red and black legs here, and I was able to probe, I forgot which one it was over here, and it did the exact same thing. Obviously, you could check for, you know, if you open up like a, any radio, basically, you could go to, you know, probe around and see what's going on and see activity going on. So, um, this is pretty cool stuff, this thing, this tool. I just, I just found this out maybe about a month ago about logic probes and how useful they are for circuit boards. So, let me shut this off. And, um, thanks for watching. If you got some stuff out of this, um, give me a thumbs up. And, um... Thanks for watching and supporting my videos. Just uh, share around.